Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and last night I was able to go to one of my local rest Mexican restaurants and have a margarita and some cheese dip, which I have not done in a while because of the current events. It was kind of refreshing to be able to go and do that uh, in more ways than one, as you know. Um, nothing like a good margarita every once in a while. Okay, so anyway, I got a kind of got a sometimes when i'm putting stuff together I, it just gets i get it together slow slower than other times and today i was just um kind of slow to get get this video together but it, but i do have some interesting things in here and i'm going to start with the market itself it looks like this market is trying to bump that price of bitcoin back over ten thousand. a lot of times things can get interesting when you have a nice round ten thousand dollar number that that cnbc and all the media outlets can get a hold of and and use as a headline a lot of times that can get a lot of fomo going in the market and so don't be surprised if you see this bump over ten thousand if we don't start to see some of that type of thing now this i thought was interesting from bloomberg blackrock stake sale freezes pnc to hunt for another acquisition um and this is about PNC has basically, they were the, I think they were the largest shareholder in BlackRock and they sold their, or they are selling their stake in BlackRock. And most of this article um, leads you to believe that PNC is selling their stake so that they are freed up to, for another acquisition. That could be interesting, but PNC is, a, is an important um, bank because PNC and don't quote me on this, but I, I think I remember from my research that BNY Mellon is the largest shareholder of PNC Bank. I believe that's the way it goes. But PNC was also, the I believe they were the first bank to go live on RippleNet. PN, this is from back September 19th, 2018. PNC Bank, top 10 bank in the United States, has joined RippleNet. PNC customers will be able to receive real-time cross-border payments. I believe they were the first bank to go live. So that's significant. All right, uh, let's let's get into this. Um, Binance US. Now this is interesting. I'm a I'm a fan of Hedera Hashgraph. For those of you that don't know, Hedera Hashgraph. Now I don't own any right now, but I'm th I was thinking about getting some. Hedera Hashgraph is not blockchain technology. It is Hashgraph technology, and some people think it's next generation um, in terms of the tech. Uh, so they're they're going live. Uh, Binance.us will list Hedera Hashgraph now. Binance.us will not let up, still not let me open an account in Georgia in the United States. I'm still waiting on that to happen. I know they're working on it, and so I can't get access to this. But those of you who are on, then go for it. Uh, this is that's that's a good development. All right, uh, Leonidas sent me this new XRP payment gateway now live in Africa. And this leads to Leonidas's website. His website is XRPRK. For those of you that have never checked this out, especially if you're new to the XRP um, world, go check this out. He's got all the information on Ripple and XRP that you could possibly want. Up here at the top news blog, XRP Arcade about us. He's got a validator, I guess. Um, the, the XRP ecosystem markets, he, he's got all the markets where there's pairings, Ripple, the Ripple ecosystem, top 100 banks and Ripple, XRP community infographics events. Uh, but this article is new XRP payment gateway, gateway now live in Africa. Flick Pay is a cryptocurrency payment gateway that helps banks and financial institutions settle payments instantly through crypto between Africa and the rest of the world. Uh, I'm not going to go any further into that. I think that kind of speaks for itself. Um, now, a couple of interesting things that Yoshikaka Katao, remember, he's the CEO of SBI Holdings. He's also on the board at Ripple. He um, retweet or he tweeted out the BitTrue article from yesterday, and I haven't covered it yet. We'll, we'll go over it now. 
Um, BitTrue reaps the rewards of putting XRP at the center of its digital assets platform. And that's from Yoshitaka Katao. And he's tweeting out this article about BitTrue. This is from Ripple yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. BitTrue reaps the rewards of putting XRP at the center of its digital assets platform. Now, this is Curious Wang, who I met. I actually had breakfast with him when I was in Singapore for Swell in 2019. Very smart guy, very nice guy, very genuine guy. Um, don't have a bad word to say about the guy. Um, he, I believe, and he's a very good businessman. Now, um, I want you to see this video just to, so that you can really, so that it can really hit home. And by, before I show you this video, I want to tell you, uh, and I'm going to show you Bitru's website. I'm a customer of Bitru. I use Bitru. Um, they have more XRP pairs than just about, I think, than any major platform that there is. But Bitru, um, I use quite often myself. I go there and, and a lot of times things that you can't get on Coinbase, you can get on Bitru. So just as an example, if you wanted to buy Cardano, you could go and you could buy it on Bitru. If you wanted to go and buy um, all sorts of digital assets, you can get the like Tron is another, you could get it on Bitru. Um, and I'll show you some of those pairings here in a second. Well, I'll go ahead and show them to you and then let you see the video. This is Bitru's website. This is, this is their exchange. Look at all of his pairings. He's got his own BTR token. There's Litecoin, Cardano, BAT is on there, Bitcoin Cash, BNB, just about every, just about every major digital asset that you would be interested in. There's VET, which is another one. Um, there's Stellar, um, can't remember XEM. I can't remember what that's the symbol for. But anyway, he's got all of these major cryptos and, and it's a very easy exchange to use. I'm not being paid to tell you this, by the way. I'm just telling you because I've met the guy and he seems to be a really, and I, and I know, as you can tell here, Rip, I know that Ripple um, is a friend of Bitru and a friend of Curious Wing. And so this guy's legit. All right. Watch this. Watch this video of Curious Wang. Very, he's such a smart guy. My name is Curious. I'm CEO and co-founder of B2. So B2 is a crypto exchange. We launched ourselves last July, and then uh, that's one big move we decide is that when we launched ourselves, we decide to up in SRP as our best currency. So today, B2 is SRP central exchange. We are not just adopt SRP as best currency. On top of that, actually, we also build a lot of financial service product for SRP as well. For example, we are probably the very first exchange offer uh, earning interest while you holding SRP on B2. And then, just like a month ago, we also launched crypto back loan for SRP. That means today you can not just earn SRP while you hold SRP on B2, but it's that you can also pledge SRP as a collateral and then borrow USDT, stablecoin, or Bitcoin for other purpose. So this is very important. So we actually B2, I would say, SRP, adopt SRP as base currency, it's just one single step. But on top of that, we'll be needing something else. They say financial service for SRP, have more scenario for SRP, and we even run an SRP validator as well. So try to decentralize the whole ecosystem. And then we were even discussing that what could be the future of Esprit, what could be the future of the SRP, and what kind of that thing we can work together to make this whole Esprit on demand liquid become bigger and bigger, make it really full adoption. Ripple help us to bring us to the community and then bring the community to be true. Anyway, really, really good guy, really good product. And and the guy, you're talking about somebody who, who really went about their business in a smart way. He recognized early that to to um to become a really to become a part of the XRP community and and be very XRP centric with his exchange, that it would help him and it would help him in the growth of his business. And so I'm very impressed with the guy, very impressed with what he's done. Um, he's got, he's really a cutting edge company there. Okay. 
Now, um, this is also something interesting. I wanted to bring to XRP Crypto Wolf's attention that Yoshi Takakatao has retweeted your tweet. This one you did right here. Ripple partner SBI Holdings said it plans to use Ripple's payments technology to make it easier for people in Japan to access ATMs. SBI said it's working to integrate its Ripple powered settlements app, MoneyTap, with ATMs run uh, by many banks across Japan. This was a tweet from yesterday. And by the way, Speaking of people who are on their game, this XRP Crypto Wolf has, he's really probably my number one favorite person to retweet. I mean, he, he always puts things in a real concise manner and gives a good summary of a piece of news that makes it really easy on me. Hold on a second. My mic just went out. Sorry, I had to get my mic uh, or my earphones working there again. But anyway, by the what I was talking about is um how good a job XRP Crypto Wolf has done with putting together great tweets. He has helped me greatly, and I appreciate it. Okay, um, next I got now this is an interesting train of thought um, right here, and I I wanted to go down this road. I think that this is going to be pretty interesting to some of you out there. From Mister Use Case One, um, sent me this. Um, this is a, a question. If you remember, the other day Ashish Birla uh, tweeted out that uh, RippleNet was going a new product. They were going to start lending. Okay. Well, this was an interesting question. This guy, this trade traderson. Let me see if I follow this person. Yeah. Uh, says Galgatron is Ripple becoming a bank? And then Galgatron says no, they don't hold deposits. And then this person replies with this. Um, and then Galgatron says, will be interesting if that actually comes to pass. And th there's an interesting point that's made here. And that is, and Galgatron is correct. Um, you know, right now, banks, um, if they don't, if you don't hold deposits, you technically wouldn't be a bank. But the interesting thing is this right here. Now, this is Brian Brooks, who you remember, Brian Brooks used to be at Coinbase. Then he became the, I believe, the deputy comptroller of the currency of the United States, which is the bank regulator for the United States, right? Well, he also, I always like to remember, remind you of this. Brian Brooks was also with the, the, um, head guy at the, um, the head guy at the OCC. Um, both of them were at, um, One West Bank, which was sold, which was Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury Te Secretary's bank, and it was sold to CIT. CIT is where Stuart Alderati was as general counsel. And then Steve Mnuchin goes to the Treasury from there, from being on the board at CIT Bank. And then Stuart Alderati goes to be general counsel at Ripple. I don't think you can ignore that in any conversation. So you got all these guys that are tied together. Well, the point that's being made here is they've announced that they're now lending. And the, so the question is, he says, is Ripple becoming a bank? The question is, can you, can you be a bank if you don't hold deposits, but you just lend? And this question was answered by Brian Brooks at consensus just a day or two ago, because we showed you the video. Listen to this again. Well, if I can refresh it, hold on one second. All right, listen to this again. The concept of a fintech charter was based on the idea that traditionally banks did three things, but they don't necessarily have to do all three things to still be a bank, right? So the three things banks historically did was they took deposits, they made loans, and they were involved in payments. When the fintech charter was announced a few years ago, the idea was, you know, what if we had a company that made loans but didn't necessarily take deposits? Could that be a bank? And the OCC's answer was, yeah, we think we think a lending company could be a bank even if it doesn't take deposits. Well, if, if you think about a crypto company, a lot of what these tokens are are really payments applications. Uh, you know, they're, they're means of transmitting value on a blockchain from person A to person B to person C without necessarily going through a central intermediary. But there are also other kinds of payments companies that aren't blockchain companies. Think about Stripe and PayPal and, and, and others. And so one of the things I think we have to ask ourselves as an agency is if it makes sense to have a non-depository lending charter, which was the original fintech concept, would it also make sense to have a non-depository payments charter? Uh, I don't know the answer to that, but these are questions that we're going to ask. And if the answer were yes, we think that a payments charter is not dissimilar to a fintech charter at some point in the future, 
then you can well imagine that it wouldn't just be the traditional payments companies like Stripe and PayPal that would want to be part of that environment. There may be crypto companies that would see that as an alternative to a money transmission license and would give them a national platform to do business. So these are all things that we'll explore in our innovation. So do you see where this is all going? And I, I am not saying here that Ripple's going to be a bank, but I am saying that is uh, that, that that is one fascinating possibility just to hash out and and see what people different people say about it and here's what one person says about it and this was actually from mr use case as well it's happening interledger protocol adoption strategy slide from tokyo today shows where ripple is going to the moon and this is from november 20th of 2017 a slide in tokyo adoption strategy and then it has down here banks eg for example ripple banks is what they've got right here that's pretty amazing when you when you think about that now let's look at what some other people i am legion as i've said before i am legion has been all over being correct on a lot of this stuff from day one so what does he say he says this is back march 17th 2020 crazy prediction ripple will become a bank and a swift member remember ripple had a job opening not too long ago for someone with experience with Bank Secrecy Act. History has shown that SWIFT has taken in non-bank members. And then he shows that same slide. I know he's shown that slide a lot. Um, and then there was this. Um, nice. This is a from Costa Rica Kelly. Nice. Curious. Did you, did you guys ever acquire the banking license you had mentioned a few months back? And Vite Savin says that's at least a year. Still getting our ducks in a row. Um, and then he says, maybe I'm crazy, time will tell, but wouldn't it fit nicely with everything else our researchers has found out about digital reserve currency, been talking to 40 to 50 central banks, SBI, our three swift Ripple team won't talk about Ripple XRP. Um, and then crypto ginger, which makes me wonder if Ripple holding back their escrowed XRP is because they are establishing and preparing themselves to become a bank of sorts. With the help and graces of Bank of England and ECB, I am Legion says it supports, um, uh, this is Damore Sahami and, and Brad Combs 2019 pre-allocation theory. I think uh, famed uh, XRP Dar Darren and Dallas um, might have tweeted about the adoption plan before, but regardless, it's always nice to have a red thread through it all. Um, and then there's a whole discussion going on about this. And then there was this. I got this from XRP Yo-Yo. It's always good. Look, we can't, we, you can't ignore some of the things that Miguel Valles has said in the past because this guy, I believe, when the history books are written, is one of the most important figures in the whole thing.
So interesting to hear his uh, some, of, some of the words of Miguel Vias. I'm always fascinated by what he has to say. Chinu Patel, um, he's, by the way, Chinu Patel is the, um, let, me, let me see if I remember his title right, the News Network Bureau Chief of the Planet. He's the official of the Digital Asset Investor Channel, and he's not, an, he's not a financial advisor. Okay, he sent me this, wow, amazing, from Peter, uh, DJ Peter Voss, wow, amazing, German Neobank offers Bitcoin accounts with 4.3% with interest. Well, that's what these banks are going to be called, folks. They're called neo banks. So that's the question is, is Ripple ultimately going to be a neo bank? Is that what, what this was all about? That's a good question. That's a good, it's an interesting thing to, um, to talk about. Now, we just showed you the guy from Coinbase that went to become deputy director of the office of the comptroller and how he was talking about how now they're, they're thinking in terms of, People being able to get charters that are not that that are not a bank in the traditional sense that but but only service one function like either a lender or a payments company can be a bank too. Well, Monzo is one of these neo banks right here. This, I just wanted to show you an example. This is Monzo, a neo one of these neo banks, and I don't know exactly how Monzo works, but it's a neo bank and it's in this this type of thought pattern. So I went to the um, office of the control of the currency and looked it up. And it turns out that Monzo Bank has, has applied for a new bank charter through the um, office of the controller. And so this stuff is happening. It's just a matter of uh, how, how this all unfolds, but it is happening. Now, I wanted to bring everybody's attention to this. This is from today. Uh, weekly jobless claims total 2.981 million bringing the current events tally at 36.5 million. This is worse than the Great Depression now, folks. New claims for unemployment insurance totaled 2.981 million last week. That is awful. Look, folks, we're in a, we are in a terrible situation. But I keep telling you, there, there, there's always a silver lining. And in my opinion, one of the silver linings is the fact that these people who are, who are becoming unemployed OK, you need to be thinking because I believe here's what I think. I think that in all of this, there's a lot of people, especially older people who are going to find themselves in a situation where retirement is not an option that it used to be. Well, I believe and this is just what I think. I believe that digital assets, when the history books are written, will be one of the lifeboats in all of this. So. For those of you that have been unemployed or unemployed as a result of all of this, you have to go and, and check out iTrust Capital. This is, I went and opened a Roth IRA, but you can roll 401ks, 403bs. There's all kinds of things you can roll if you, it, once, because once you are unemployed, once you lose that job, you have a 401k or 401 or 403b it's several of those different plans there's different type plans with different companies well many of those plans and you can you can contact i trust capital to find out with if your plan does roll i'm oh, sorry the iphone or apple watch but you can find out you can go on their website and schedule a call if you go in the description of of all of my videos You'll see a link. There's also a coupon code where you can get a month off for free. Well, give them the coupon code there in my description. And you can go on their website through the link. You can click and, and get schedule a time. You can call these guys up and find out if your plan is eligible to be rolled into an iTrust Capital IRA. I recommend it. I did it myself. Also, we're still in this 50% this off sale until the 17th. Ledger Nano S's, they've never done this before. This is in the description of all my videos too. You can get 50% off of a Ledger Nano S. If you don't have one yet to store your digital assets off of these exchanges, I highly recommend it. I've got several myself. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends and family. Ledger is still 50% off. Go check it out. Thanks for listening.